Cambiamo settore e chiamo Edelberto Baracco. Let's change a sector and I like to call the CEO on stage, the CEO of Compagnia dei Caraibi. Ben arrivato. Ciao, grazie. Welcome. Ciao a tutti. Allora, qui andiamo al mondo quasi della Hello. Well, we're moving to a whole another sector to the night. Um, spirits, right? Yes, we were born in the world of spirits and it is still our core business. Tell us more about uh, your exotic name. Well, Compagnia dei Caraibi, Caraibi Caribbean company is something that has been known thanks to this place. Yes, we were listed on the stock exchange. Our company um, was born out of a dream in the spirit world. We wanted to have a tool that allowed my dad to work in a very free way. As a very curious man, he started importing some products uh, in Italy and um, At first, we were providers of our direct competitors. Uh, that was his job. He, mm, he would choose and select um, gems. And in 2013, I was doing something completely different. We decided uh, to mm, join our path. And um, I decided to join the company, Compagnia dei Caraibi, as it is today, was founded in 2013. The exotic uh, name is due to the fact that the first products came from the Caribbean, but uh, um, it also resembles our um, spirit of curiosity, um, going out of the, bit, um, the bitten track. We always had um, a very specific um, symbol Uh, as our logo, we wanted to go behind, beyond, you know, the, the usual. 56 million and our turnover last year was 56 million. Um, we're very happy with this. Um, we were able to do so thanks to the brands that we were able to build on the market, but also thanks to... Um, an extraordinary market in the past few years. So your main uh, business is the distribution of spirits in which um, sectors? We're pure importers and then we became distributors. Our focus is a premium product, so we're talking about products for Horeca. This is the uh, area we um, grew in. We serve um, customers in all channels, so it's not only Horeca, uh, so um, supermarkets. You talked about, you know, nightclubs. We don't work only with them because when it comes to building new brands, launching new trends, such as uh, Gin Mare, uh, Jefferson, Gin Elephant, were projects that were basically non-existent on the market. They did not have a single bottle distributed. So in the past 10 years, they've become a phenomenon of the categories. They represent a change in trends and consumption. You mentioned all channels. Yes, we work with supermarkets, especially with um, strong brands. We are very cautious in our relationships with uh, supermarkets because when you want to be a brand builder, when you want to build a brand, you um, have to take a 
good look at the um, growth curve. So we don't want to sell bottles. We want to tell the story of the brand and um, attract people. Then we built um, the next steps, the spirits, wine, craft beer, and we changed our model. So we were just classic importers and distributors. So Italian market, network of agents. We started investing to create the three uh, souls, so to say, of um, Compagnia dei Caraibi. One is uh, the distribution. We want to be a distribution in premium beverages with a strong focus on deregionalization. It's a horrible term. I don't want to talk about internationalization. I want to um, talk about increasing the territory of operation. We are Italians in an European market, so going beyond um, national borders. Then we have brand building um, area. So we started as um, researchers of new phenomenon. And we also started with, new, with production. So we invested in wineries and distilleries. They are our strategic line to strengthen uh, this asset. Then we have uh, omnichannel, digitalization, customer relationship, communication. So the omnichannel project of Compagnia dei Caraibi completes uh, what, what's Compagnia dei Caraibi today and in the next few years. So, while researching the brands, did you ever want to buy those brands? Yes, we started from scratches, so we surfed, um, showing that we were able to build brand on behalf of others, and the relationship with uh, customers was different because we tend to play by our customers' rules. We were um, very new in the market. The um, relationships changed, so now that's our attitude. Uh, the elephant gin is a clear example. This is the most important acquisition we've done thanks to our listing on ex stock exchange. The uh, gin is a German gin. We have a launch of the new distillery, I think, in October in Hamburg. This was uh, one of the best examples of our activity. In the world of wine, we launched a very small project called DVNL. It is a project of one of our employees. Um, he um, wanted to produce wines in Montelupo Albese in Piedmont. And thanks to our policy, we uh, we decided to be uh, partners in the development of the products. We bought two, um, we bought land in Montelupo Albese. We are developing a winery. And this is, you know, a part of the experiences that uh, we created in order to introduce them in our portfolio. What, what is your view in the next five years? I think our goal is 25 to 30 percent of um, owned brand. For the first time this year, we are consolidating Elephant. This will increase the, the, the um, weight of owned brands. This is going to grow. Uh, I would say in the medium term, it will be 25 five to 30% of our turnover. Do you manage the e-commerce as well of these owned or distributed brands? Yes, we are in the world of e-commerce. I don't like to talk about pure e-commerce. Um, since its inception, Compagnia dei Caraibi wanted to look at digitalization as a tool. So we work um, a cross-channel way. All the tools need to be applied to the market and technology needs to serve our model to uh, make the processes more dynamic and faster. 
So we invested in our technology units greatly uh, because this is allowing us to have a control over the markets we are investing in, the foreign markets, I mean. Looking at the online market, we've seen that there's, there has been this huge push during COVID. Uh, we expected the market share to uh, reach 14 points. Um, it reached nine points maximum, and now uh, it sits around 3.54%. But this is because the online world is also changing. The uh, online sale platform, as we know it, is going through a crisis because the industry is deciding to invest in this area. They are, it is analyzing data to understand the um, the role of online shops for some it would be just a sh way to showcase the products for others would be a way to um, create a strong relationship with the customers i think how you use it will make a difference what are the best uh, the most relevant trends on the market the trend that we we are following more is the premiumization. If we look at the um, international word, the premium word, so what is able to tell a story is what it can grow in the future and can um, provide stability to, to those who invest in the sector. The main um, trends um, do not only refer to product, but also to the moment of consumption, form of consumption. This is where we foresee a great change in the future. Of course, we look at products. We've seen that, especially in Italy, but also in the US. If we look at spirits, the great trend is um, white spirit. Uh, this is what's supporting growth, beginning from very small numbers. So shifting the weight of whiskey is very complex because uh, it has a very significant um, figure historically. If we look at wine, it is something I'm very passionate about. Uh, I think uh, a best bet would be telling a true story, a genuine story, and in changing the trend of consumption of the past 30 years. Not because that was wrong, but we were told by the producer what the right one was, what the good one was. The younger generation, which is not me, younger people need to uh, make the same mistakes we did to um, find their own taste. This is why we see a huge number of new producers um, when we taste new wines, they feel wrong to us. But there's a revolution there. There's the same revolution we've seen in the world of spirits. In 2008, uh, 2011, in the world of spirits, the word of aperitif changed. It changed it to craft. So people started uh, homemaking the um, ingredients for the um, cocktails. This changed completely the, the categories. And um, this is now coming to the industry. So the changes in the industry need to understand uh, what are the needs of the customer of the future. Going back to your company, I'm happy with the um, stock exchange. There's nobody from stock exchange here, are we sure? Well, for us, it, um, it was crucial. Until 2018, we wowed the market with an exponential growth. Um, thanks to what we were able to do, um, these two years created a moment of reflection for us. So, so then we were all leveled. So we realized, basically, that we had many projects um, in the pipeline, but we couldn't um, 
turned them into reality by ourselves unless we um, lined them up. Uh, the um, being listed on this stock exchange allowed us to be more visible internationally to get resources and to be a player that goes out of the um, you know of the beaten track. So you got in resources, we had acquisition, but we you still have resources to conduct new projects. Yes. Um, acquisitions uh, for us haven't haven't finished because we haven't completed our design, our plan. We got good results. We are, of course, uh, living through a um, market that goes back to um, pre-COVID um, paces. E lì dove adesso we need to understand um, what the pace will be in the future. We want to do well in terms of production. After the VNL and Elephant projects, we have other uh, things in the pipeline. We are looking at the European market uh, for our investments. We have the uh, opening of an office in Germany and in Spain. Of course, we distribute in 34 countries. We want to have an office in three countries and also an office in the U.S. for the launch of our uh, own portfolio. You know that the U.S. Um, market is slightly different. There are specific roles that need to be maintained. So you need to decide whether you are the maker or the distribu distributor. We want to be importers in the US. So we represent our brands there and gradually in a very difficult market, we try to find a way there. Please um, stop me if I'm talking too much. But um, I don't want to forget the omnichannel uh, word. So we have an omnichannel product, a project called Dispensa. We have an online shop, and we used to have a store in Turin, an industrial plan following um, the rationale of Compagnia dei Caraibi. So helping people discover products that were outside of their comfort zones so and learn to drink something new. So we wanted to find, to create a place where we could understand what we wanted to communicate and make uh, our customers feel confident in what they were purchasing. We recently launched our second um, store in Palanza. We have the online store, as I mentioned, and each one will have um, its identity, so the brand will stay the same, but we will create not a chain, but something that uh, suits the area it is placed in. So you have a lot to work on, of course. I hope I was clear and um, you learn more about my company, of course. 